The NP has agreed to hold a re-election with bad grace, screaming of victimization by the government, and yet it saw nothing wrong in the victimization of hundreds of members who are robbed of their rights to vote. The chairman has made it clear that the list of candidates would remain as in the December 2012 election, as would the list of voters. The chairman, Mr. Karpovsek, is missing the point completely. He seems to have forgotten that it was the list of the voters and the less than transparent procedure that triggered the debacle in the first place. All those interested in free and fair elections would like to see this round of CEC election conducted in as transparent and accountable a manner as possible, as prescribed by the party's little red book, to wit, the DAP Constitution, which they have already bridged, as uh, Twanta pointed out. Here is an opportunity for the leadership to show that as honorable men and women, they would be happy to go beyond mere compliance, that they would allow and agree, one, the presence of independent observers, two, all eligible members and branches will be duly sent notice of their right to vote, and most important of all, number three, that a firm to audit and oversee the election be engaged based on its national reputation for professional integrity. DAP claims to be different from the other political parties and here is a great opportunity again to show Malaysians that the party is indeed different and that all its actions can withstand the closest scrutiny. DAP must give practical effect to its cat slogan, which is becoming a sick joke given the party's handling of its internal crisis.